Moosey, Moosey. So, so you like your gift? Show mommy. Show mommy. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you guys a pack with me, which you know I haven't done this in a long time. I don't think a lot of people have done this in a long time because no one's really traveling. Um, but even though it's a two-day little family staycation, I still thought it'd be fun to pack with you. Um, my skincare, my makeup, my clothing, and kind of everything we're bringing. So I thought I would do a vlog with you. Uh, definitely let me know if you guys have gone anywhere, if it's like a little family trip, um, a road trip, anything like that in the last like year or so, because I know we haven't travel in what feels like forever, but we're just going up to the mountains, which you guys already know is pretty close to us. Uh, we did go up to Canmore. I want to say this was like a few months ago and had like a little cottage. So that was really, really nice and very, very needed um, at times like this. And especially when it's so cold out and we can't really do anything. So I just thought it'd be nice to get away for a few nights, but let me know um, and definitely catch me up on what's been going on with you. And if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe now. I am trying to do two videos a week. I did two videos last week, which was so awesome. So definitely check out those videos if you guys have missed those. Um, also, I thought I would share with you guys my office since it is almost finished and I have my my canvas that went up which is so beautiful um, and it was a custom painting that was done so I'm really excited uh, for this vlog and just sharing with you guys all the stuff I've been loving lately and I am cozy and warm I have my coffee that's already finished right here um, but yeah that's basically what we're doing in today's video so I hope you guys have had an awesome week also an awesome Valentine's Day so I thought I would share with you too a little bit of Valentine's Day in today's vlog also a podcast that I was featured on so if you want to hear me talk for like an hour and just talk business and uh, baby life struggles everything everything is included in it so I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far and let's roll right in Good morning, friends. So I woke up this morning very cheery and actually having energy this morning. Finished feeding the girls, and I think it was from Valentine's Day. We had a really good Valentine's Day. Uh, we took the girls out for dinner, and it was just such a nice occasion, and they got a ton of Frozen stuff. They're obsessed with Frozen right now, but I wanted to quickly show you guys my office before we go upstairs and pack, and that sounds so weird to say because obviously uh, we haven't gone anywhere in a long, long time, but we are going on a little staycation just for two nights and uh, we're going up to Banff, which isn't that far from us, but like an hour drive. So it'll be really nice to just get away for a few nights. And I just thought, why not? Why not pack? And I might exaggerate a little bit in this video because obviously pack with me's are supposed to be fun to watch and I'm not bringing like a lot of makeup, but for the sake of this video, I will overpack myself. <laughs> um, but I wanted to quickly show you guys my office, which if you've been following my channel, you know how long I've wanted to fill this space. And it's just been obviously with getting busy and, uh, you know, finding the right painting. But obviously I wanted to get this canvas custom done. And my friend Mary from Hot Glam made this and you can even see if we zoom in here, it says SL Miss Glam, like it's very custom. And my jewelry case is right there. I'm using my makeup brush, Chanel, Lubu's. So I actually put my Lubu's right there, which seems to be something the girls tend to want to reach for. Um, but I don't wear these. They're honestly not very comfortable. They're more, I think like a decor shoe. But yeah, I'm just so happy on how it turned out. So I'll leave her shop down below. Um, I just ordered another mug from her actually, and it's a twin mom one. So I'm really excited to get it. And once it comes in, I'll show you guys, but I love how I have this set up right now. It's just really, really, I think like soft and girly, but also I don't have too much up here, which I really, really do like. I also have my tray, which is from Nicole. Um, if you guys want to check those out. And I just rearranged the books right here that I had too. So Megan Hess, 
these are both Megan Hess, the Couture, and then this one. And then these I had from Etsy, which she doesn't have her shop anymore, but you can get like custom made books made off Etsy. Um, anyway, so I am really admiring this photo. It just makes me feel so nice and brings me back to really the start of my brand and how everything started. So, and also exciting news, if you guys want to check out, I was actually featured on a podcast, um, my friend Kara's podcast in, I want to say it was August that we did it. It was in the summer, but if you guys want to take a listen, it's an hour and 15 minutes. I talk about business. I talk about babies. I talk about life struggles, daily struggles, how I started my brand and how I got to where I am today. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below on the podcast. I might share like a little clip of it too. Um, maybe we'll do that right now so you guys can hear a little sneak peek to it. I honestly took a leap of faith and I think from just... When you're in a place where you just are not happy or you don't like your career path or you feel like you should be doing something more, most likely you should be doing something more and you should be doing something you're passionate about yes. and that you love. I definitely think uh, there are competitors, but at the same time, I don't really focus on it, to be honest. I just work on my, my own my own things mm -hmm. and focus on creating new products and just continue to do what I love. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy watching it. Let me know your thoughts on watching podcasts. Like, do you guys watch podcasts frequently? If so, what podcast do you watch down below? I watched Laura DIY with her boyfriend. That's, I think that one. And then um, Pretty Basic. I also watched that one. Um, but I'm trying to get into like more entrepreneur ones too, because I really love, love hearing how people start their businesses and um, you know, so they're fun to listen to, but I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Let me know how your Valentine's day was and let's head on upstairs. And of course we have our mini balloons everywhere in the house still. And our house is a mess by the way. Like I'm still cleaning after Valentine's day, just having like a little setup of, for the girls. Um, I'll have a picture to attach here of what that looked like for Valentine's day, but I got them these mini balloons and they are ab obsessed they wanted to bring them in the car the other day and we're like no <laughs> uh but they love Minnie and they love elsa right now this one's deflated but i got like a little set from safeway and i knew instead of getting like the normal balloons which i love i thought they would like the mini ones and they were birthday ones they were at valentine's day but i know they're so obsessed with Minnie right now so they freaked out they were excited for that and then my mom got them like a bunch of frozen um stuff so they already went through everything. If you guys remember this, I had this made for their very first Valentine's Day. And this is what I'm talking about when you buy dried flowers like this, Venus at Floor. I love their brand, but you can keep this as decor like for years and years later. And they are a little squished, but that's because when we transported them from our old house, they got a little squished. I must have put something on top, but I mean, it still looks perfect and I love it. Uh, so I did have these out for um, Valentine's Day. Also, we went to Toys R Us. I got them like a bunch of little frozen things. They have Elsa's in their hand right now. Um, and look at this. They are obsessed with coloring. So I got them these coloring, clearly obsessed. Look at that. Look at that. So yeah, I had this one and then I got a frozen one too. And I just wanted to quickly show you guys, I don't want to show my whole kitchen. It's a mess. I got to clean, but, um, this flower box is also from my friend Vaini. So I had this out for photos and I had some questions on it. So check out her shop. She has all sorts of different flowers and boxes and uh, fun accessories, so definitely check it out. I also have these gorgeous pink flowers. You remember these ones from Home Sense? So I did put them in the kitchen for Valentine's Day, but it's just such a nice pop of color um, in here for Valentine's Day. Also, lastly, before we go upstairs, the little I love you balloons, which are so cute. Sophia has been really attached to these, but that was basically it. I didn't go crazy with anything, and I got them each a little cupcake, which <laughs> they loved, and especially Mia. Mia had her eyes drooling over the cupcakes, you guys. It was pretty funny, and I just gave them one each, but they were pretty big cupcakes, so they had a lot of fun, and I mean, every occasion gets a lot. Like, they definitely know what's going on, and they're excited as they get older, and we also have a card here from my mom, so she got the, the girls a little Valentine's Day gift. And yeah, I'm gonna go grab my stuff right now. And oh, let me show you guys this really quickly, actually. So these are great. Um, they, you know, draw on here. There's little hearts that they can make, if I can pull them out, but um, they love this. And it has like rainbow colors on this. So I'll link it down below. I'm using my opposite hand here, but you can see here, right? It's got fun colors. So this is really fun for the car. If you want some entertainment, I'll link it down below. I just bought them from Amazon. And then there's also this one. 
So my friend Jen got this off Amazon too, and the girls love these. They are pretty entertained if I'm making food for them and I need them to be entertained for a few minutes. Also, I got them little baby Elsas. They're obsessed with these. Okay, upstairs. It is a beautiful sunny morning today too. All right, you guys, so just got my suitcase. This is like my little mini one. It's Kenzie. I think I got it from like Winners a few years ago. And I'm gonna pack my stuff in this and then we're probably gonna bring one larger suitcase that will just have like all the girls stuff and baby wipes and you know essentials and everything we'll need for them. And since it is really snowy out still and cold, we have a lot of gear to bring for them. So like there's snow boots and uh, track suits and everything like that. So just wanted to quickly show you guys this. This is actually kind of nice, like for a one person, like I can fit all my stuff in here, my makeup, my clothes. Um, and I'm only gonna bring one pair of boots. So yeah, I'm gonna pack. Also, I just finished my coffee, which I was gonna show you guys, but I was thirsty this morning for some coffee because I'm a little tired. I've been working a lot behind the scenes and I'm just so excited for this year. You guys are so much happening and lots of exciting projects. So um, I think I'll start off with my skincare. So I do have some of my stuff that I need to bring over here, like my cleanser, but I believe I have some smaller items in here because I love anything travel size or mini. So I'm really lucky I do have those. Instead of bringing such big, you know, uh, items because skincare can definitely take up a lot of room. So. I am gonna bring minis. I also haven't tried the Fenty line yet, which I have the cleanser, the moisturizer, and the toning serum. So I don't think I'm gonna bring those though, just in case, but I do have my Tatcha water cream right here. So I have all my minis up here, if you guys can see. So Biosense, Tatcha, I think I'll bring my dream, or my water cream. And then I also have the Dewy Skin Cream. I love taking Tatcha stuff when I'm traveling. Honestly, they are some of my favorite for skincare. So I have those, they're just so small, so perfect. I also wanna bring this, which is the Kisu Lip Balm. My lips, I'm sure you guys saw in my last video, have been so, so dry. Or I think it was the makeup tutorial I did. You could tell how dry my lips were. That's it right there though. And yeah, if you guys watched my tutorial, my lips were so dry, but it is really cold here. So I mean, my lips have been struggling. So I'm definitely gonna bring that. Also, so this stuff right here, the Vital Skin Strengthening Super Serum. I really like this by Kiehl's. Uh, it's a really nice lightweight serum. So I am gonna bring this for morning and night. I also really like this sunscreen. This is Shado Ultra Sun Protective Lotion. It's really lightweight. I tend to break out from sunscreens, but this is like really, really thin and it's a 50 plus. Um, and it's also wet for, so if you're going swimming or something like that. Uh, but I do really like that. And I got this in like the little buckets when you're leaving Sephora. So I was like, I gotta try it out. So I think I'll bring that too. And what else, what else? Now, I don't think I have a small eye cream, but ooh, I really like these oils too, these face oils, but I don't think I'm gonna bring them on my trip. I would say I would bring the Saturday Skin, but this is such a big bottle right here. Uh, for my eye cream. So I think I'll grab my Kylie. So this one right here, this is a really awesome eye cream, the Kylie skin one. I think it was like $23. So I'm gonna bring this with me. And it's a like really nice, it's a thicker eye cream, but I put it on before I conceal. So it helps a lot. And obviously it's pretty travel friendly being so small. So I am gonna bring this with me too. We'll pack all this stuff in a minute here. Right back here, thank goodness. This is full, I'm so excited. The Tatcha Deep Cleanse. I think I bought these two as a set, but I'm not joking. This is like my favorite cleanser of all time. And I love it because it removes my makeup, but it also, it, it has exfoliant in it and it's not like harsh and I love it. It takes off all my makeup, cleanses my skin. I usually will do it twice just so I have like my skin super, super clean, but I love it so much. I'm actually like all out, so I have to get a new bottle, but I am gonna bring the mini. So I have my makeup cases. I don't think I'm gonna bring that much makeup, so I am gonna put my skincare and mix it in with my makeup. By the way, I'm wearing my comfy tracksuit right now. Uh, comfy, love being comfy. Okay, let's see. I could always bring two cases too. Don't need all this stuff. Mia and Sophia love to mix all my stuff up. 
Okay, so I am basically, I'm taking everything out that I don't need and then I'm just putting everything in here that I, I plan to take with me on the trip. I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay, lipstick, lip gloss, mascara, brow gel, liner, powder, contour. My favorite contour right now. I know it looks scary, but it's really not, I promise. I love it. And foundation, Pat McGrath. You know it's my favorite. Um, blush. Got my concealer. I do like this mascara too for the lower lash line. So I'm gonna bring that. I think that's it. So let's see if I can organize this and fit everything. Okay, so everything fits except for the sunscreen. I knew that being a big bottle, maybe I can put it into like a little container. Um, but look at that, I have all of my uh, makeup in here and then the only thing I'll bring separately is my brushes. So I'm gonna bring this over here just to show you guys that I can close it. And then for new brushes, you guys already know, I've launched my new set, which is Pink Ombre, it will be linked down below. Definitely check them out, they are so beautiful. I have all of the orders actually going out today and yesterday, or no, today's Friday that I'm uploading this, but I'm filming this on Tuesday. So um, yeah, everything is being sent out. I'm so excited. It was a very successful launch. It looks like you guys are super excited for the pink ombre and they're just such a girly and fun, you know, brush set, so I'm really excited. I know it looks deceiving at first. You're like, oh, that's so much stuff, but it actually fits perfectly into here. You can really stuff this thing. And I, like even with the transparent top, look how much you can fit. Look at that. So I have all of my skincare, all of my makeup in this makeup case. So I will link my makeup case down below. It, it, I told you guys, it's the perfect travel friendly thing and case organizer. I love seeing everything too. It's a big deal to me. Um, and I've learned the hard way because all those trips I was doing back to Calgary when we were building our house, I couldn't see anything and I had stuff everywhere. And I, I was just like, why is there not a case where you can just see everything, reach for it quickly? And this is my gem. This is my holy grail item. The other thing I'll probably do tonight before we leave tomorrow is some brush cleaning. That needs to happen. Um, so I usually like to organize it so I have all my clean ones in here that I can reach for and then dirty ones right here. So I'll give them a nice cleaning today and then also this hand cream. So cute, Grace and Stella. I got this in my Ipsy bag, but I really wanna bring this because I can just, or I already know how dry it's gonna be out there. If you guys have been to Banff, you know, and it's like minus 30 right now here in Calgary. So I definitely, definitely need to dress warm and also moisturize. Moisturize my hair, moisturize my face <laughs> and my body. So literally everywhere. Um, now I would bring the Gucci primer, but that thing's huge. So I don't think I'm gonna bring it. I have my lip gloss and my lipstick in my handbag, so I don't need those. Okay, so for brushes, I was going to bring all of my newest ones, which I will bring a few of them, but I really love traveling with my minis. So that's the whole point on why I launched minis in the first place. So I'm gonna bring the angled blusher, little powder brush right here too. These are just the perfect travel friendly brushes. So. I'm gonna bring those and then there are a few brushes I really wanna take in here too. The eye brushes I love in this set. So let's bring those three. And then also the, where is the flat? Okay, so this one too. Or I love this angled blusher. I use it actually for my bronzer. So that actually really is a great brush. And then also let's bring this one to the tapered face, small tapered face. So I think that should justify my face and be enough for the trip so i usually can get away with using like four to five brushes but sometimes it's a little bit more um but i will bring those and then also i was gonna bring this one which is my ipsy bag from the january bag and it's this is actually really nice for foundation concealer or face masking um so if i bring a face mask yeah you know what i'm gonna bring this because if i do face mask which might be kind of nice do you guys face mask when you're on vacation or like holiday or go away I definitely like to just because I find it relaxing and especially if I don't have time to go to the actual spa, I can just like do it in my room. So I think I'll bring that. Ooh, and I have a mask. Holy grail mask right here. If you guys have not tried the Clear Improvements Active Charcoal Mask, this is amazing. And I have some really bad pores and around my nose, my T-zone, I have very oily skin. So this is like a gem and this works so nicely. I've been using it for I think the last like 10 years or something. However long this mask has been out, I've been using it for. So this is definitely a key product in my 
face routine. So I'm gonna bring that. Now the other thing I think I need to bring is a little fragrance. Now I never bring like a full perfume with me because that's crazy. Um, and then also just worrying about if it breaks, but I do have like all these little mini ones here. Um, Okay, so Joe Malone, I have a few here. Ooh, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Actually, I'm gonna bring this one. This is a really nice scent, clearly. I like it, because look how little there is left. But I've had this for a long time. Like, these last so long. So anytime they're having a promotion, I usually try to get these and we'll buy a full size just to get this, because they're perfect for travel. So I'm gonna bring this one. And I don't have a lot of fragrances here because I have them all over as you guys saw on my vanity, but I have this one too, uh, the YSL Black Opium. It was actually sent to me near Christmas, so forgot to share that with you guys. I have Flower Bomb, and then my mom got me this one, which is the My Way by Armani. I put on for Soleil Blanc, Tiffany, and Co., which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just bring this little, little baby with me. Okay, so. Not too bad. And I was gonna bring my highlighter, but you know what? I don't really wear highlighter too much if I'm going like on a small two day trip. So I don't think I'm gonna bring that. I think this is good enough though. I think I have plenty here. The other thing I'm gonna bring is my Kerastase oil. So this is my hair oil I've been using. I actually have it in the big full size. So this is the baby one and it's really nice for my hair. And I'm not gonna wash it when I'm out there. So I just think having a nice hair oil will be fine and then I do have, just to show you, this is the large bottle. So I have gone through the whole bottle. I'm just getting that last little bit, last little squirt out of there because it's not cheap. It's an expensive hair oil, but I really like it. And I usually just put it on my ends where I'm dry and it works really well. Holy moly, I just put my camera on a different setting and it looks so much better right now. <laughs> I'm still playing around with my vlog camera, you guys. So hang in there with me, but it is really, really a nice camera. I love vlogging. So I will probably bring my camera just in case I do like a little get ready with me or something like that up there. But honestly, I'm just going up there for relaxing and uh, for the girls to kind of get out and enjoy Banff. So yeah, I'm going to find an outfit now, which I already know what I'm gonna bring, like big sweaters, warm clothes, because it's really cold here right now. And my beanies. Actually, I think I'll bring the pink and white. All right, so two beanies. I usually like to bring two to switch up photos and I just love these beanies so much. So these are my Wolf Fan Collective. Uh, my two friends, Jade and Nomo, own it and they are fantastic. And I've heard nothing but great things from my friends ordering from them. So if you guys check them out, they have all different colors and the um, palm parts are actually interchangeable so you can change them and swap them. But we have my pink one right here with the white and then my white with the nice, you know, beige. So I think these two will be perfect for the trip and then I can kind of wear whatever I want. Okay, okay so we've got those now. Cozy sweater, okay. Now I kind of want to bring this. Actually, this one, you guys. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this with me. I really like this. I got this from, uh, where did I get this? Express. So this was a sweater that I got from that big haul I did for Christmas for Ryan and I. And I love it. It's so cozy and warm. It actually has a hood too. So I think this would be really nice for Banff and keep me warm. So I'm gonna bring that. I don't need more than two outfits, you guys. It's only two days long, so. I kinda wanna bring this. Yeah, this is kinda nice. Just like a nice long sleeve, because I'll wear my coat. I'm bringing my big winter coat, so I think this will be nice. So for my pants, I'm actually washing. You can probably hear the washing machine, but I am washing all my pants. So I think with these, I will probably just bring a pair of jeans, and that's it, and probably just pajamas, uh, and... That's probably it. I don't think I need anything else because honestly, this is only two days, so it's very short. But if I were staying longer, then I'd probably bring like one more sweater or one more outfit. Bring this in here. Put my lumber. Actually, I'm probably going to be wearing this, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you guys how I pack it. But I think I'm going to wear that on the way there. And then I have this one. Oops. Get my makeup. So this goes on this side. 
And you can zip this part up too, which is really nice. All right, so jewelry. I love wearing jewelry when we go out for dinner or um, just having nice things when we're on a trip. So I definitely wanna bring a few different pairs of earrings and probably just a ring. So I have, let's zoom in here. This is my Pandora teardrop ring. I love wearing it, it's rose gold. I think I'm gonna bring that and also probably my gold hoops, which you know these are my favorite, the LV ones. So let me bring those. Also, this bracelet I got from Olive and Piper, I've been wearing this a lot and it's really pretty and dainty. Um, so I have that, I'll bring this too. And what else do I have? I have my tra uh, travel jewelry case that I do bring with me if I like was going on a longer trip. So I have this in my shop, it's really awesome. It's very pink and springy, um, but I don't think I'm gonna bring it just because I'm only there for two days. So um, I think that is it. Ooh, actually, oh, should I bring this? This is my little Mia and Sophia bracelet. This is really cute. I think I'll save that for now, um, but I think I'll just bring this just in case we go for dinner. And for my wigs, I have them all in here right now. So I do keep them in like the little bags. I get them in from Freedom Couture. I was actually just on their website. They had some new ones that, oh my goodness, are so nice. It's very addicting buying wigs, but I have my dark one, which I think I'm gonna bring this one. This is the one that you guys see me in all the time. I wore it on Valentine's Day too, so I just have to comb it out a little bit, but it's pre-curled, which is nice. I don't have to do anything. I literally throw it on my head and I'm good to go. Um, so I do have this one here. I think I'm gonna bring this one. The other one I have, which is also one of my favorites, um, this lighter one. So this is also a really nice like spring to summer wig. Um, really nice blend. It's a little bit lighter, has the blonde through it, which I, I do like too, but I think I'll just go with my darker one. I've been wearing it a lot. And also, if you guys like braids, I buy these separately and they're awesome. So you actually just put it on your head with your wig and it just looks like you've done a full braid in your hair and it looks really glamorous. So I do have that. And I think that is it. So I have my jewelry. Obviously not gonna pack my toothbrush and stuff right now. I'll wait until tomorrow, but um, yeah, my wig, I love this one. And I usually just wear it with my toque because like I said, it's snowing, it's really cold out. So I'm gonna have those. Um, and once, let me know, once I finish organizing this, my island and everything, would you like me to do a spring closet tour? I was thinking about doing that because I haven't like, I don't know, I'm in here for some of my vlogs, but I'm not in here all the time. And I know a lot of you guys have so many questions about the closet and, you like really, you know, girly things. And I love being in here. There's just, um, and I think spring would be a really nice time because obviously I have a lot of like spring dress dresses and spring outfits and things like that. But I am actually going to place a haul for clothing soon. So once I do that, then I definitely think I can do a little tour for you and maybe like a little try on. And by the way, anytime I look, come in here, I look at this book, ugh. I just, I can't believe how big they are now. I, I even look at these photos and I'm like, they looked tiny. But now, Valentine's Day, they just look so big. Can't believe it, but one of my favorite little books I have out for my friend Nomo. Okay, so I went and got my little Princess Vibes makeup bag. I sell these as well in the shop, but I do have a few more things I have to grab. All right, so I have my brushes. I also have the leftover little things that I have to pack too, and I put everything in here. Okay, gotta make sure this is closed. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I have my little Louis Vuitton bag. I always take my earrings in this. And then the ring and bracelet I'll just bring separately. Also, I need to bring this in the sack. There we go. Okay. All right, so that is everything. I have my beanies and I put all my makeup on this side just to show you. I closed it. This, honestly, this little suitcase is the best. It even has like little pockets if you wanted to put like gels or whatever you want in here. A zipper, it clips shut. You can put a laptop in here. And I've got my sweaters. It's a perfect like one or two day trip bag. So I really like it. The other bag I haven't decided between, I can't decide if I'm bringing this Neverfull or if I'm gonna bring my um, Prada backpack. 
I have a feeling I might bring my backpack. It might be a little easier to carry it than have this on my arm, but I really do love this bag for traveling. If you have little ones uh, that are able to walk themselves, then I would for sure say, uh, you know, bring this bag. But I think for the sake, because I know how crazy and hyper they are these days, um, and sometimes they do want to be picked up, and I just think backpack might be easier. <laughs> but I also have all the inserts in here too. So if you guys were wondering, these are from Amazon. I have this small one and then this larger never full insert too. Hi, Maxi. And of course, Maxi is coming too. Um, but I wanted to quickly show you what I'm bringing the girls to. Not everything, but just their coats. How cute are these little coats? Uh, they're really warm and poofy and my friend Cooper got them for the girls for, I think it was their birthday, but they love wearing it and it's nice and big it covers their legs too which is nice and then shoes are down below i'll probably bring two pairs of shoes actually they're high tops these ones right here i think these are from h m and then also their boots which i have like little i think they're sorel boots um but yeah those will keep them warm with the snow and then also their beanies these are my favorite ones by wolf fan collective you guys these ones right here with the white you can see they've worn them so many times um, so yeah, we have the pink ones and then I'd have to find the gray somewhere else, but they do have gray as well and some other colors, but I do love the pink. And then we've got some sweaters right here for them. We also have my Prada backpack. This is the one I use all the time. The only thing I don't like about it is it opens, but it is functional and it's a nice size for the trip. So I'm going to bring that too. And then of course I have my coat on this side. I just have all my coats on this side. Ryan's are on the other side. And then I have a sticker placed on my coat. That must've been the girls. So this is the one I'm going to bring with me. It's my Macage coat. I love it. It's honestly like a parka. It's so warm. So I'm going to bring that with me. Just wanted to quickly show you guys that. And then these were the Elsa dolls I was talking about that we got for them. They love these, like they're obsessed and the dress lights up. And then they also had these at Toys R Us, like little hair brushes. So they do like those too. And I think that's basically it. I've got a card in the mail from my mom. She said some really sweet things and I always collect cards. I'm a big card collector. The girls also have um, their cards as well somewhere here. I got to clean before we go, but I think that was basically it. There's some toys that I have to clean off the floor, take away all the Valentine's Day stuff. But on a good note, my office is clean, which I'm happy about. Uh, so like I said, I will be doing that office tour very soon and going through all the cabinets with you and everything that's in here. Um, now that I have the picture, that was kind of what I was waiting for to do that. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see an office tour and I hope you enjoyed watching this. I have been dying to do a pack with me. It's been so long. I think since we moved since, yeah, I want to say that was like eight months ago, but um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I think I'm going to make myself another coffee soon. I feel like it's a double coffee kind of day today. <laughs> Okay, so I have a few errands to run today and I just thought I would get ready really quickly with you guys instead of just ending the vlog. As you know, I like to do long vlogs. I'm just using a little serum I got. This is actually the same place I get my hair injections, which I need to book another appointment soon. There's not much left in here. Um, really nice face serum. But yeah, I was really in the mood to like doing a pack with me, even though it's just a two day little trip. Um, I just thought it'd be nice to see because those are actually some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube and we have not done it in a long time. Obviously no one's really traveling, but let me know if you have traveled um, in the last, I guess, while, but uh, I know a lot of people haven't. And I know a lot of people have wanted to do like road trips, which is kind of what we're doing, um, but it's only gonna be us and it's just nice. It's nice to kind of get away for a little bit, but as I'm filming this, I'll already be back. So I'm pre-filming right now. There we go. But let me know what other videos you guys would like to see in March. I'm already kind of getting into springtime videos because we have a lot going on, like April, I've got my makeup line, I have some other exciting projects that I've been working on, like everything is, is coming soon. So I feel like this is kind of the time to relax and take it easy before everything gets crazy. Anytime lip mask, Jelly Glaze. Have you guys heard of this by Tarte? It's a cute little bottle. I think this is from my Ipsy bag, I'm not for sure though. Focus. It's very cute. Um, 
I already packed my lip balm, so don't know what else I'll use, but that's okay. I'm just gonna do quick makeup here. Okay, I had to go grab my foundation because honestly, that's the only foundation I use. This one here, Pat McGrath. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of concealer. Just using one of my fluffy eye brushes to blend out my concealer. Let me know though in the comments down below what you guys got up to for Valentine's Day. We obviously made Valentine's Day about the girls, but we had so much fun. The girls were just so energetic. They loved um, their treats, their cupcakes, but we ended up doing, like we did a steak dinner and then the next day, which would have been yesterday, Ryan and I just popped a bottle of champagne and um, yeah, it was really, really nice. But it's funny, I watched this video or it was like a little reel of a couple that were like super super like cliche valentine's day and like strawberries balloons everywhere rose petals and then for for being first time parents it was really funny they were just both like exhausted having wine in the living room and it was it was just it, it hit me i'm like wow this is this is really how it is um and they just looked exhausted and i think they were just eating like pizza or something like that but i mean yeah, I definitely think Valentine's Day is exciting because the girls and um, Ryan and I get to just like hang out and it's just casual. I don't know, I've never been like over the top and obviously I've always had a lunch with Valentine's Day so I was kind of more busy with my business but I don't know, we've never been like huge. We don't really go out for dinner for Valentine's Day um, or anything like that but no, it's nice to kind of celebrate and have like a nice dinner but... Now that we're busy with the girls, kind of made it more about them, but we had so much fun. And for me, I think, like I said, my, my favorite treat is relaxing. That's my favorite. That is, you know, if I have some extra time in the morning to sleep in, that is the best thing I can get. And just like enjoying my coffee in the morning, getting ready in the morning, it's my favorite. I'm just going in with my powder right here. But I have, I wanted to actually open a peel box today because um, if you guys remember at my old house, I actually had a peel box and I got lovely gifts and cards that I got to read all the time. And I just feel like it's another way to interact with you guys. And I miss having one. I haven't set one up yet since we've been here. So thought I would do that today before we leave and finish up emails. And yeah, that's about it for today. Um, but I'm excited to take the next two days off. Well, not really off. I'm sure I'll still be on Instagram, but off off as in taking a time off my computer that's okay and which is kind of healthy every now and then and i really recommend it if you guys have been exhausted or drained just take like the weekend off and have it to yourself or do something you love i always say that like if you do something you enjoy something you love something outside it's just it kind of resets you and gets you into a better place of inspiration and motivation so yeah just filling in my brows okay and i'm sorry if i'm like super bright right now it is really really sunny in my washroom and we have all the windows open right now um our windows have been frosting a little bit because it's so cold outside but i am going to put on mascara let's put on the d one. Oh, brow gel quick 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 but I finally find myself inspired again and motivated I know like the last few weeks it was just kind of up and down up and down but um I feel finally like more myself now but what I was saying is period and COVID do not mix well together so I had my period a few weeks ago and I was just like ah but <laughs> um yeah after I have my period I'm like oh I'm alive again it's so nice though to put on a little bit of makeup and leave and not feel like crap. <laughs> there was I think two months almost where I had no makeup except for filming videos, which was so crazy to me. All right, so that was two days vlog. I just finished it off with a little bit of lipstick. I put my lighter wig on. I have my toque um, and a little bit of mascara and blush and highlight.
but that's basically it. And it's not like too, too much. Um, and I really like going soft on the eyes, but I just like putting on a little bit of makeup to even be around the house. And like I said, I think this was in my day in the life where I just feel a lot better when I put on my face a little bit more and, you know, just feeling nice about yourself and taking five minutes to yourself, self love self-love is so important you guys so i've been doing a little bit more of that when i have time and obviously uh like when i'm filming this is the time when i'm working so that's when the girls we've been potty training and you know there's a lot of work with that right now and also educational games and um educational you know things that we're doing with them so i feel like it's just all day long and having this time to do this and then separating it with time with the girls is really important to me um but of course i will you know do some mommy vlogs coming up and uh maybe i'll do because i plan on doing a declutter like a clean out of their old clothes so maybe let me know if you want to see a video of that um but i hope you enjoyed watching today's vlog i am well i'm already back now so i'm sure if you follow me on instagram you would have seen how our trip was I am so excited for just like a little two day vacation. We are in desperate need of it as a family and it's almost like a post Valentine's day. So I think it's a really good time. Also rates are at the all time low for going to like any, um, what's it called? Hotels up there and even, uh, Airbnb. I was looking and you can like rent cottages and like, you know, have it be very private and they're really inexpensive right now because no one's really traveling. So um, at least I know not a lot of people are flying, but it's nice to kind of get away for a few days. So hope you enjoyed watching this video and getting ready with me. Let me know what you would pack. Um, and I can actually pack quite quite small now compared to what I used to pack. Even watching some of my old pack with me's, which I'll link them down below. I had like my suitcase filled to the brim. Um, but of course we were traveling for a longer time, but still. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you have not yet. And I have some awesome vlogs coming up for you guys next week. I'm going to try hard to do two videos. If I can't, I apologize. Um, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. I hope you had a good Valentine's Day. I will see you in my next video.